So, adventures during occult sojourns and experiments and magics and great ceremonies can you actually get damaged physically? The mental damage, the psychic damage, is a everyday routine. So you have to clear your mind every day to prepare yourself to receive perhaps more damage or if you have enough protection, guardians and so on, less damage. Now, what kind of damage can you encounter? You may encounter tortures of your nervous system in agonizing ways. You may scream like an agonized person in pain without any physical damage whatsoever to your body. So there are naughty things that may torment your nervous system to the point of utter agony and pain. Now, what about physical damage? Well, you may have bruises, scratches, piercings on the skin. There are so many things that may try to drain your life force and your blood from your muscles, from underneath your skin, from your blood vessels. And you may wake up and say like, wow, what happened? What did go wrong? You may also witness bruises and piercings piercings going through your skin, on your very eyes. I once experienced my skin turning half transparent with veins being manipulated left and right. Apart from various body modifications in vivo, which were perhaps necessary, development of the draconian spine, dragon spine, various augmentations to your brain and nervous system, rejuvenation, healing of your organs, whether it be it lungs, hearts, intestines, damage to your intestines and so on. It is all possible. What about more physical effects like we see on the movies, the exorcisms? Well, a very strong physical experience that I once had was in 2007 Abrest Wales when I pursued one of my ceremonies and all of a sudden I was thrown into the air, two meters into the air. I ended up on a sofa by a pair of back hands that pushed me with a great impulse of energy. So I was knocked out and hit against the sofa, hit against the wall. That's why you have to be fearless. You have to know how to protect yourself. And uh, don't worry if some scratches or other way things appear. Some of them may be witch marks, some of them are more aggressive in kind. There is also the thing called the shadow language or the language of the dead and the cacodiamonds and the shadow witches. They may inscribe information on your skin to read you like an open book. You may also augment that and leave your own notes if such is the will. Now, since Saturn Mars conjunct is nearing in one day time, I may recall a story from 2016, 20 something of July, 22nd of July, I believe. It was the 16th. As a birthday gift, and I was completely exhausted, I ordered death from Saturn. What happened then? So first things first, I was living on the outskirts of a little village far away from Krakow, working as a stable boy, secretly a ceremonial magician. And the demons, the psycho murderers of Saturn arrived on the battlefield, looking like fierce, shadows, bulky, twisted, all that. I was thrashed left and right, flying through the room at night, whereupon I stood, each time I ceased to be trashed, destroyed, annihilated, hit, punched, scratched, and I said, that's all you can do, that's all you can do. Mock away the damage, because things that are more powerful than you are only powerful in as much as you are immortal. Then I tried to understand it as a form of an ordeal. Uh, watch your ass, you little bastard. And I 
comprehended that in such a way. Those forces withdrew and through the window of the second floor of the house I was living in, that was the attic, I've seen two shadows, three meter tall shadows. One was that of a male, one was that of a female, Saturnian vampiric nobility. The female bowed towards the male, cotowed towards him and kissed his gems, his rings that he had on his hands. Then she went back to the upright position. We watched each other intensely for some while. And because the tunnelings between Mars and Saturn are my most pertaining substance matter of severity that I am loyal to I can't wait for the new conjoining. I am not foolish enough to order new attacks. But I am wise enough to receive more teachings in understanding, in valor, in greatness. So, that is such and so. Remember in your voyages, when you are sleeping, and flying with your soul away, prepare your body to be armored at first. Protect yourself, otherwise it will be left defenseless. Various things may damage it. Whether you believe in them or not, apart from the regular things that are belonging to medicine, your physiological propensities, and so on and so on. In the occult business, such things happen. Damage to the body, damage to internal organs, damage to the mind, psychic damage, psychological damage, mental illnesses. Yes, it's all in. So question yourself if you are ready to commit to it. Are you ready to perish? in order to climb the steps of that ziggurat up, 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 above. And are you ready to fall from the little ladder, breaking your jaw? Hmm? Good luck. <laughs>